The stoichiometry of a reaction is the quantitative relationship between the reactants and products in a balanced chemical equation. In other words, the ratio of the moles of reactants to the moles of products can be used to do various calculations once we have a balanced chemical equation. Let's look at a fairly simple chemical reaction. Here we have two moles of iron reacting with three moles of oxygen to produce two moles of iron three oxide. We can use this balanced equation to calculate various amounts in either moles or grams of the reactants and products. Let's calculate how many moles of iron react with five moles of oxygen gas. We do this using our reaction stoichiometry and dimensional analysis. We have 5 moles of O2 and we want to multiply by a unit factor that will cancel out the moles of oxygen and give us the moles of iron. The unit factor is going to be the mole ratio according to the balanced chemical equation. So let's look at how many moles of iron react with moles of oxygen in the reaction. We know we have to have moles of oxygen in the denominator, and so according to our equation, 3 moles of O2 react with 2 moles of iron. Remember that this unit factor is called the mole ratio, and it comes from your balanced equation. We can cancel out the moles of oxygen, which leaves us with moles of iron. And we end up with 3.33 moles of iron that can react with 5 moles of oxygen gas. Okay, let's try another one here. How many moles of iron 3 oxide can be produced from 0 0.643 moles of O2? We start with our 0 0.643 moles of O2, and this time we're going to multiply by a unit factor, or the mole ratio, of O2 to Fe2O3, since that's what we're looking for in the problem. So looking at our balanced equation, we can see that 3 moles of O2 produce 2 moles of Fe2O3 and we can cancel out the moles of O2 which leaves us with moles of Fe2O3 and we get 0 0.429 moles of Fe2O3 Okay, now let's see if we can calculate how many grams of Fe2O3 can be produced from 73.5 grams of iron. We do this calculation in the same way, except we will have a couple extra steps because we aren't starting with moles, we're starting with grams. We have 73.5 grams of iron. And we can't multiply by our mole ratio yet because we don't have moles of iron. So let's first convert our grams of iron into moles of iron using the periodic table and the molar mass. One mole of iron has molar mass of 55.85 grams. We can cancel out the grams of iron and we see now we have moles of iron. And so now we're ready to use our mole ratio from the balanced equation. And moles of iron have to be on the bottom. So in our reaction, we have two moles of iron produce two moles of Fe2O3. And we cancel out the moles of iron, and we are left with moles of Fe2O3. And now we can convert those moles into grams. Before we can convert to grams, we need to know the weight of our 
Fe2O3. So from the periodic table, we have iron, 55.85 grams per mole, and we have two of those, and 16 grams per mole for an oxygen, we have three of those, which gives us a weight of 159.7 grams per mole, that's for our Fe2O3. And now we can put that into our calculation, one mole of Fe2O3 has a mass of 159.7 grams. Cancel out our moles of Fe2O3 and that leaves us with grams of Fe2O3 which is what we are looking for. Plugging that into our calculator we get 210 grams of Fe2O3. That can be produced from 73.5 grams of iron. Okay, now let's see if we can do a sa the same type of calculation but with a chemical equation that looks a lot scarier than the previous. Here we have one mole of calcium phosphate reacting with four moles of nitric acid to produce one mole of calcium dihydrogen phosphate and two moles of calcium nitrate. We want to calculate how many grams of calcium phosphate are needed to make 125 grams of calcium nitrate. Let's start the same way. We know that we need to make 125 grams of calcium nitrate and we can't use a mole ratio because we're in units of grams. So the first thing we should do is calculate how many moles. So we're going to convert grams into moles using the mass from the periodic table. We have calcium, one of those, 40.01 grams per mole, plus we have two nitrogen, 14 grams per mole and 6 oxygen at 16 grams per mole which gives us a mass of 164.01 grams per mole so let's convert our grams to moles of 1 mole of calcium nitrate is a mass of 164.01 grams our grams of calcium nitrate cancel and we're left with moles of calcium nitrate so we're ready to use our mole ratio from the balanced equation okay two moles of calcium nitrate on the bottom so the moles cancel are produced from one mole of calcium phosphate our moles of calcium nitrate cancel and if we want to convert moles to grams of the calcium phosphate we're going to need our mass from the periodic table so we have three calcium 40.01 grams per mole plus two phosphate 30.1 grams per mole. We have 8 oxygen, 16 grams per mole. This gives us a mass of 308.23 grams per mole. And now we're ready to convert moles of calcium phosphate into grams. So we have one mole on the bottom calcium phosphate 
has a mass of 308.23 grams. And our moles will cancel. And we're left with grams of calcium phosphate, which is what the problem is asking us for. So we need 117 grams of calcium phosphate to produce 125 grams of calcium nitrate.